Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 6 NFL preview and analysis. This video is for the game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It'll be played down um, at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Tampa coming in with a record of 0-4 with their bye week last week. And of course, uh, the Eagles coming in with a record of 2-3 and after what I thought was a very good win um, on the road in New York versus the Giants last week. And the Buccaneers, look, they're a complete mess. Uh, they sit at 0-4. Mike Lennon's now the quarterback. Josh Freeman uh, is on to greener pastures uh, in Minnesota. And I say greener pastures because there's no way that the players in this organization uh, can even be somewhat want to play for Greg Schiano at this point. I think there's a very thin line or a very thick line in between criticizing a player's play, trading him or releasing him, and releasing personal information about a player in what looked like an intention to smear the guy. And uh, there's only certain people who would know that information inside that Tampa Bay locker room. You know, the players know who those people are. Um, one of them you would assume had to be Greg Schiano. These guys I don't think are going to respond to him. They know that if this season doesn't go well, it's going to be Schiano that gets shown the door. You have a lot of high-priced guys in there. Um, I think sometimes that stuff matters, um, especially in a situation like this. They are playing against a, a Philadelphia defense that isn't great. Although they did have three interceptions of Eli Manning last week, you know, I think Tampa can do some things, uh, at least on the ground, uh, versus the Eagles. Who knows what we get from Mike Lennon, the jury, obviously. Definitely still out on him in just his second start here as a professional. The Eagles offense with Nick Foles at the helm now. Michael Vick is going to miss this game, at least with that hamstring injury. You have Nick Foles in there. Look, I like what Nick Foles brings because he's a more accurate passer than Michael Vick. Um, and this offense can work either with a mobile quarterback like Michael Vick or a very accurate passer um, like I think Nick Foles can be. I liked how he got Brent Selleck involved when he came in the game. The tight end position has been lacking a little bit for the Eagles. I think these guys have confidence in Nick Foles. I don't think that's a problem. Um, I think he, you know, you'll obviously probably see more in the form of um, – uh, you know, whether it's handoffs to McCoy, uh, improvising plays in the passing game to serve as runs. You probably won't see as many playing quarterback runs, obviously, with Nick Foles in there. But this this offense, and they ran it this way at Oregon, it can be run with either a scrambling quarterback or a quarterback that's accurate with the football. So Foles did leave, lead three scoring drives last week when he came in in the second half for Michael Vick. So I think there'll be a little bit of a drop-off, but not a pronounced one whatsoever. If the Eagles have to worry about anything, it's that defense always. Uh, can they be opportunistic like they were in the fourth quarter against Eli Manning? Remains to be seen. Look, the Tampa Bay unit is a solid unit. It keeps them in every single game. Uh, but I can't help but think that in the end, um, something's going to go wrong or before then to really squander um, another opportunity for the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers play a little bit better at home like every other team in the NFL does. But I think that Shiano issue and what's going on in that locker room is really translating out on the field. And this said they had a whole this had a whole bye week to fester within that locker room. A locker room that from all accounts you hear didn't a lot of guys in there like Josh Hamilton and have come up uh, Josh Hamilton yeah right Josh Freeman and have come up with him uh, through the ranks here let me know what you guys think of this game I like the Eagles it's an even spread I like the Eagles straight up to win this game let me know what you think hit me up in the YouTube comments hit me up on Twitter at s news analysis I think you had one college coach come and do it the right way and one coach do it the wrong way in terms of how they're handling their teams. We'll see if it bears out in this game. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. I preview every game every week. I recap every game every week. And I'm always talking about the news of the day in the NFL. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening, and have a great night.